Hey everyone. Welcome to SM Educate today. We're diving into the fascinating world of covalent bonding. We'll explore what makes atoms bond together by sharing electrons and look at the theories that help us understand fundamental concept in chemistry. Do you know what exactly is a covalent bond? In simple terms, a covalent bond is formed when two atoms share a pair of electrons. This type of bonding typically occurs between nonmetals where both atoms need more electrons to complete their outer shells. By sharing, each atom feels like it has a complete valence shell, reaching stability. One of the primary theories explaining covalent bonding is called the valence bond theory or VBT. It was proposed by Walter Heitler and Fritz London in the 1920. According to VBT, covalent bonds form when atomic orbitals on different atoms overlap. For instance, in a hydrogen molecule, H2, the one's orbitals of each hydrogen atom overlap, creating a bond through shared electrons. In other words, the strength of a covalent bond depends on the extent of this overlap. The more the orbitals overlap, the stronger the bond. This theory also introduces us to the concepts of sigma and pi bonds, where sigma bonds involve direct overlap and are generally stronger, while pi bonds are formed by sideways overlap. Next up is the molecular orbital theory. Develop later provides a different approach. Instead of thinking of electrons being shared between just two atoms, it treats electrons as delocalized over the entire molecule that atomic orbitals combine to form molecular orbitals that extend over the entire molecule, providing a more complete picture of electron distribution. These molecular orbitals can either be bonding or anti-bonding electrons in bonding molecular orbitals contribute to bond stability, while those in anti-bonding orbitals can weaken the bond. This theory helps explain properties like magnetism and color in complex molecules that valence bond theory struggles to address. So, which theory is correct? Actually, both theories have their strengths. Valence bond theory is great for understanding simple molecules and gives us a strong framework for predicting shapes and bond types. On the other hand, molecular orbital theory is more powerful for complex molecules and properties like color and magnetic behavior. That's a wrap on covalent bonding theories. Each theory has its own applications and advantages which makes chemistry so exciting. If you found this breakdown helpful don't forget to like subscribe.